Okay, I think one of the big questions for Detroit Lions fans is, what should we expect out of Jamison Williams next year? Well, I think the best person to look to on that is Ben Johnson. Ben Johnson, Brad Holmes, Dan Campbell. And uh, there were some interviews that were done recently that they really kind of went and shone a light onto exactly what they can expect uh, from from Jamison Williams next year. They talk about what happened last year and, and all this good stuff. So I just want to kind of get into this a little bit. And we, and I just want to have a conversation uh, about this Lions expect Jamison Williams to make big impact on this league. Now we understand that let's first just kind of look at this and talk about what the rookie season was for starters, his rookie season. Most of it, he wasn't even healthy. Uh, he didn't play till the game against the Jags. And you could see the speed in it. And when he did get the ball, he really started doing things differently. Right here, it said Jamison had um, kind of had to start that after he got healthy and cleared to get back on the field. So I think a little bit of what you saw, I don't think that's really anywhere close to where this kid's going to go. His first, and, and what he was talking about there is his first career reception, which turned out to be a, an explosive 41 yard touchdown grab where Jared Goff actually under threw him. Um, and then Brad uh, Holmes went on to say, I mean, he had some big plays and he had some flashes. But the other thing about Jamison, he's just a football player, man. He's just a football player. And that's one of the things that you absolutely love to hear people say. So then they went on and they they were talking. So this is kind of a cool article because they put two different um, conversations together. Um, and Ben Johnson shared on the team's podcast this week, the plan will be to position the speedy wideout at multiple different receiver positions to maximize what he and the offense are able to accomplish every week. This needs to be paused, and we're going to go back to this article. We need to talk about this. Jamison Williams, and we've talked about this in the past and how difficult it is to just get plugged in and get good right away. And what we're seeing from Jamison Williams is last year when he came in and he started playing, he just wasn't ready. And we always make this comparison with a player who almost had a thousand yards his rookie year. Amon Ross St. Brown almost had a hundred catches his rookie year. Dude didn't start balling out till week eight or nine. And that was after four preseason, well, three preseason games, but four weeks of preseason. That was after training camp. Jamison Williams gets healthy, starts practicing, and is against the Jags in that very first week of practice. So he didn't get, I mean, he got maybe five weeks, not even close to the 14 that most people get before they start producing halfway through their rookie year. So he was so limited in what he could do. He wasn't going to play multiple positions. They were going to put them out him out there for very specific gadget type plays or deep routes. They just could only do so much with them. And in the NFL, that only works for so long. And Johnson explained what happened when the ball got in his hands last year. Explosion. We see it. You see it. Everyone sees it. It's there. Jared Goff said it before. Consistency. That's really the name of the game. So, we are moving, and don't worry, we'll go back to this, but we're moving and we're talking about consistency here. That is something that is so hard for a rookie, a rookie, <laughs> rookie, a rookie wide receiver to do. It's just tough. Like I, consistency at your first year of any level is difficult. And I mean, even when you think about Jameson Williams in college, um, it, it took for him leaving where he was in Ohio State, getting to Alabama, and really getting acclimated, and then the dude started to just go off. He said, we've had some great conversations with JMO ever since the season ended. I know his mind is going to be right when he gets back in here in the springtime. He's really looking forward to taking that next step as a player and make a big impact on this league. All right. This is Awesome. They talk about his mindset. They know his mindset's going to be good. And that's, I think, something we have to wonder because even in that uh, Packers game, he had a drop. He had like the dude just, and it was after a week where you could visibly see him frustrated. He was visibly frustrated at times, whether he didn't get the ball or he didn't get it in the right position. And then he went on to have two, three drops in a row. And my hope is that he can get his head right where he realizes like, okay, 
He has elite speed, but he is not elite yet. And maybe, maybe some of this time is a good thing. Maybe some of this time away to help him realize like, Hey, you're good. You have all the tools to be great. The question is, are you going to be great? And, and that's the question we always have to ask. This is a guy we traded up for. We want him to be fantastic. We want him to be fantastic. The question is, will he get there? Johnson went on, um, um, to say that the coaching staff are seeking to make it increasingly challenging for opposing defense to guard the 21 year old. And Johnson said, we'll move him around. He'll be all over the place for us. I know. And I know this, when you get speed in the slot, it's very hard to defend for a defense. There will be times we do that. There will be times he's an X. There'll be times he'll be a Z, but there's a lot that he can so when we look at this, here's what we have to realize. Amon Ross St. Brown has been our slot ninja. He has absolutely been our slot ninja, but that doesn't mean that he can't play on the outside. Jamison Williams can soften up that coverage for St. Brown if St. Brown's playing next to him on the outside, or if we bring Chark back, or if there's another receiver. I don't know what that's going to look like, but you need, when you have speed, you want to move it across the field. You want to put it in motion. It, it The speed is really, people will dictate how they're going to cover you. Are they going to bracket him? Are they going to always have a safety over the top? It'll help you understand if they're in man defense, zone defense by by allowing to put him in motion, put St. Brown in motion, move a running back out of the backfield. Like these are the kind of things you can do. And the more weapons you have, the more you can attack a defense. And if a defense always has to understand the threat of a deep ball, the threat of a deep ball, if that can become a good consistent thing, it's going to help your run game. It's going to help your underneath passing game. And it just allows your offense to be more multiple. I think about this team last year and the offense that had success. And sometimes I marvel at it. We had a phenomenal offensive line, but Chark was hurt. Jamison Williams wasn't in the lineup. We had no true deep ball threat. There wasn't one. St. Brown's a great player, but he's not taking the top off a of defense consistently. Hawkinson in the beginning of the year is a good tight end, but once again, he can stretch the field a little bit, but he's not taking the top off of it. He's not. Josh Reynolds certainly isn't taking the top off a of defense. Him and Goff have a good rapport, but that's not what he's doing. So when you bring Jamison Williams in, and if he starts showing that he can do multiple things and he has a big growth year in year two, you are going to see some scary things coming out of this Detroit Lions offense. And the amount of things that they can do are just nuts. And that is why Ben Johnson came back. He knows that there can be really good things to do with this offense. Him and him and Jared Goff have a great rapport. He likes Jared Goff. He wouldn't have come back if he didn't think he could just have a ridiculous offense with Jared Goff. It's not a thing. So, hey, that's where I'm at. Um, hey, feel free, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel. Become a member. Uh, all these good things we have a, a, available. Hit that comment below. We love to hear what you think about uh, what you want to see out of Jamison Williams next year. See you on the next one.